A man with a mass of 82 kilograms stands on a stationary, frictionless trolley with a mass of 44 kilograms, with an 8 kilogram package in his hands. He throws the package horizontally to the back of the trolley at 6.5 meters per second relative to the ground. Okay, so let's draw this picture so that we can understand. So there's our trolley, okay, um, a lovely trolley, and let's give it white wheels, okay. And here's our guy standing on the trolley, it's a blue little man, okay, oh, supposed to be blue, okay, blue little man, okay, and he's got a package in his hands, okay, and our man is 82 kilograms. And though the trolley is much more, uh, much larger than him, it's only 40 kilograms. Okay, and then the package in his hands that he's throwing to the back, that package is worth 82, 44, and the package is 8 kilograms. So the package is 8 kilograms, and he throws that towards the back of the trolley. Okay, and the velocity at which he's throwing it is 6,5 meters per second. Okay, now as you can see all of this is just one thing. If we look at the picture this is just one unit and hopefully what you recognize here is that our initial momentum, everything before it's thrown is just zero. Just There's just nothing moving. Okay, and that means that if there's no external forces acting here that the principle of conservation of momentum is telling me that my final velocity uh, sorry, my final uh, momentum must also just be equal to zero. And that's just the first, first two questions that we have here. What is the total momentum of the system before the package is thrown? Is just z nine, not zero, uh, not nine, zero kilogram meters per second. Okay, that's simply zero kilogram meters per second. And so is the final. What is the total? momentum of the system after the package is thrown. Same thing, zero kilogram meters per second. Okay, and those are simply the first two answers. Okay, the next question asks us to calculate the velocity that the man and the trolley is traveling at after the package is thrown. Okay, so what do we notice here? Okay, we notice that this is actually an explosion. Okay, it doesn't fit into our normal idea of what an explosion is, but it's actually explosion because afterwards we've got things going in opposite directions where initially we have one system uh, or one unit I mean. So initially we have a man that includes the trolley and the package so let's call it the um, man package okay and the velocity of the man package is actually zero because it's not traveling. This is all initial Okay. Afterwards, however, we have the man, uh, the mass of the man, lowercase m, the mass of the man, okay, that obviously includes the trolley, okay, and the velocity of the trolley, okay, and the mass, the man and the trolley, and then we have the package. Now the package has been thrown, so it's detached from the man. So we have the mass of the package and the velocity of the package. Now the information that we have is that, that, the mass of the man and trolley, the velocity of the man and the trolley, that's the final velocity we're talking about that we want to calculate, the mass of the package we have and the velocity of the package. Now very important, as we see we're heading in different directions, um, the signs are very important. So let the direction the package is thrown towards be positive. So this is going to be our positive direction and that's going to be our negative direction. Let's substitute the variables that we know. First of all, we know that the um, mass of the man and the package is everything combined, the original thing combined. So we have 82 plus 44, sorry, 82 plus 44 plus 8, okay, times this original velocity is zero is equal to, and then on the other side, I've got the mass of the man in the trolley is 82 and 44, that is 1, 1, what's it, 26, 120, 
six okay that is the man that's 82 and the trolley they are still one unit after we've thrown them so it's still just 82 and 44 okay they stuck together still the velocity that's the, what we are trying to calculate the velocity of the man and the trolley their final velocity okay plus and then we have here the uh, mass of the um, package we know was 8 and the velocity of this package we learned was 6.5 after it was thrown it was at 6,5 okay now to solve this it looks quite easy to solve because on this side we have 0 on the other side we have 126 uh, velocity mass final as uh, of the man and the trolley final uh, plus okay what's 8 times 6.5 that's 13 times 4 is 26 is 52 okay that's 52 so what do we get we get 126 times the velocity of the man in the trolley's final is equal to negative 52 and here we see oh, this is curious once we divide both sides with 126 okay to get to solve the velocity of the man in the trolley we find that we are dividing with a negative number or a negative number is being divided and what that means is that our answer is going to be negative let's see we've got 52 that's a negative number divided by 126 and we get negative 0 0,41 uh, if we round it negative 0 0,41 meters per second and hopefully by now you get it that when a vector is negative it's in the opposite direction so this vector is in the opposite direction of what we originally chose to be positive originally we chose the direction that the package is thrown towards as positive okay so we will say the direction here is in the opposite opposite direction as the package in the opposite direction as the package's motion okay it's going to the back of the trolley and this trolley is going in the opposite direction okay let's go full out all of this so first of all we learned okay that this time because it's more an explosion we have originally one thing and then many things of uh, as final okay so actually this is our initial velocity which in this case was just zero and later on we had final velocities so that's the correct formula substitute in all the values that we have we had the mass of um, of A, let's just take mass of A B, uh, meaning the mass of the man and the trolley we figured that as 126 okay and then we have the velocity no not that one the mass of B that's the mass of the package okay in this case we'll to take that to be the mass of the package it's 8 kilograms okay um, the initial velocity of the package and the initial velocity of the man and the trolley you can put it in a zero okay but um, we actually want this the initial velocity of the um, trolley man package everything together that should be zero that's important okay the final velocity of this whole unit no there's no unit anymore and um, that's final we have a final velocity for the man trolley okay which is going to be our a that is the one we're trying to calculate and the final velocity of the package if okay that's that's the one we're talking about here in this case that final velocity is negative and no, a positive 6.5 meters okay so if we substitute now into this formula we see we take mass of a plus mass of b so 126 plus 8 so 126 plus 8 times the velocity of AB and that's what we said was the initial velocity of this whole unit which is zero they were one thing but they weren't traveling at all 
is equal to, on the other side, we have the mass of our A portion. Our A portion, in this case, is going to be the man in the trolley. So um, that mass, we calculated as 126, okay, is traveling at V. We don't know what that velocity is. That's what we're trying to calculate. Plus, and then we have the mass of B. That's the mass of our package. Okay, the mass of our package is 8. Okay, so we have 8 times the velocity at which that package is thrown in the direction the package is thrown. It's obviously positive, and that's what we get. Okay, so in the next step, we are solving all of this, and the answer that we got after solving it was negative v is equal to negative 0 0.41 meters per per second to the power of negative one. Okay, just preview the previous one as well. Okay, looks good. Okay, now we have to finish the sentence. After the package is thrown, the man and the tro trolley is traveling at 0 0.41 meters per second, okay, in the opposite direction that the package is thrown. Okay, so that's the direction. Now because I indicate a direction here, I don't need to I shouldn't actually put a negative there because that would that would mean in the opposite direction of the direction I'm giving okay no I'm giving a positive number because I'm indicating the correct direction okay hopefully you understood that hopefully you found all of these questions as not too bad intense questions but not really that bad if you break it up and you understand whether it's a collision hit and stick or hit and bounce or an explosion cool See you in the next video. Enjoy.